Right, we are now looking at question 5 on the year 10 paper. So we have this circuit which is modelling the four heating elements, uh, the four hobs, and each of those hobs has a resistance and it's an equal resistance. Um, each is provided with a switch so you could turn one, one on at a time. Uh, but here in the question it says all four heating elements are switched on Okay, and they are at full power. The hob draws a current of 26 amps from the 230 volt mains electricity supply. So we have 230 volts in the supply, and we have a total current of 26 amps. Now, the easiest way to do this question is to start by saying each of our elements draws a quarter, so 26 over 4 amps, okay, which gives us 6.5 amps of current. Okay, that's because each of them has the same resistance, therefore each of those branches offers an equal, equal resistance to the current that's flowing, and therefore the current is going to split equally down the branches, so a quarter down each of it. So we've got the current that flows through one of the heating elements, and we know that the voltage across each branch, and therefore each element, is equal to the main supply, which is 230 volts. It's therefore, now a very simple thing, just using V equals IR, and therefore to find the resistance, it's going to be R, R equals V over I. The voltage across one element, 230 volts. The current flowing through one element, 6.5 amps, which gives us an answer of, roughly speaking, 35 ohms. Okay. Again, as with most um, questions on the electricity topic, there is another way you could do this. You could have calculated the total resistance. So the total resistance is equal to the voltage across the whole lot, 230, divided by the current flowing through the whole lot, 26, that gives you something like 8.8 .8 ohms. You then, this is why it's, I'd avoid doing this method because it's a bit trickier, you then need to know that there is this equation that 1 over the total resistance is 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, etc. So in this case we've got four of the things, so 1 over R4. R1, R2, R3, R4, they're all the same, they all equal R, so that is the same as saying 4 over R. Okay, lots of people made the mistake there of saying that this would be 1 over 4 R. It isn't, it's 4 over R, okay, because you've got the same denominator, so you can put them all over R, and then it's 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, 4 over R. Okay, so just a mathematical thing there. Okay, if you then work this thing out, you'll find that the R that we're looking for is going to be our total multiplied by 4, okay, which will give you this answer of roughly, to two significant figures, 35 ohms. Okay, again, I would avoid this method. There's no need for it here. If you understand circuits properly, you'll be able to see clearly that you've got 6.5 amps flowing down each branch, 230 volts across it, and then it's a very, very simple sum to get that answer there. Lots and lots of pitfalls using this method, okay, and this equation is not even one that you actually need for your GCSEs.